Let's be honest, it was also an unbelievable day for Justin Rose. He won the FedEx Cup, and he joins us tonight here live on SportsCenter. Thanks for being here. First things first, can you just tell everyone at home, can you take us through that kick on 18? The what, the kick? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, I was, I was waiting for a break all day and it came just in time. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, was, uh, it was a very interesting day out there, obviously. It was, um, I knew there were many scenarios in play. I knew pretty much what I had to do. Um, I made hard work of it through the back nine there and uh, kind of got to the point where I needed to birdie one of the last two and uh, left it real late. But I knew obviously 18 is a par five, hit a great tee shot, just ran through the fairway, which made the second shot pretty tricky. And, uh, I knew you had to, you know, you could up and down it out of the right-hand bunker, and obviously I hit it towards the right trap, and it just bounced up and bobbled up onto the green, and from there it was kind of a pretty straightforward two-putt, if there, if, there if there ever is such a thing under that amount of pressure. No question. Two-putt for 10 mil, no worries there. But you are the top-ranked player in the world, so you'll be fine there. I just want to ask you about the end of your year. You attained the top spot a couple weeks ago, and now you end the year as the FedEx Cup champion. What does this ending in totality, the ranking, and this collective victory mean to you? Yeah, they're both, you know, they're both kind of milestone achievements in a way because, uh, you know, neither of them are you, uh, sort of winning a tournament. They're, they're sort of, uh, they've been a reflection of maybe more, my more consistent play, I guess, through the year. So the world ranking came about based upon how many top tens I've had. And obviously I've had my fair share of wins along the way too, but my consistency this year has been better than ever. And obviously that also is what got me to the position to win the FedEx Cup. So that's obviously what I take some pride in. Uh, this year, but uh, man, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a bumper year for sure. Well, it ended pretty, pretty darn well. I've got to say, you did say your best defense today was to play aggressively and committed. Those are words, your words, and you did so. Lastly, before I let you go, you played with Tiger yesterday. He fired a 65 yesterday. You countered with the 68. He talked about the reaction of his fellow competitors to his win today. Just from a guy that's at the number one spot, talking about a guy that spent many years at the number one spot, What's your reaction to Tiger's win today? Yeah, it's been, uh, obviously, we all know it's been a long time coming, but also he's looked like winning for me um, so many times this year, and uh, it's been a matter of time. But you just did, obviously, with health and with uh, fitness and all that type of stuff, I just wanted him to be able to capitalize sooner rather than later on, on his great play. Um, he changes the, he moves the needle so much in our sport. Uh, the atmosphere out on tour the last few weeks has been electric. You always know where Tiger is on the golf course. And, and this week, obviously, I knew that everyone was rooting for him. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a fun arena in which to play. And I'm so happy he was able to get that 80th PJ Tour victory. And to actually to do it on a course like East Lake, which, to be honest, I don't think it's a course that suits him as well as many others on tour. To win here shows that he's really back. He's got all the shots. He's driving it in play. Uh, you can't have any weaknesses around East Lake and get the job done. It's well said. For many years, many people were chasing Tiger Woods at number one in the official world golf rankings. Right now, that honor belongs yeah. to Justin Rose, and they're all chasing you. Congratulations on a season for the ages. Thanks, my man. Appreciate that.